What's going on, you guys? Like, what you guys to the channel? She Big Dog back with another one take review. And today I got one for Chillin' Vi Chillin' Adventures of Sabrina season four, the last and final season of Chillin' uh, Chillin' Adventures of Sabrina. Which to me, this thing started off with a lot of promise. Um, I really enjoyed the first season. Second season was you know, damn solid too. Uh, I think that's when they hit the the, 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 the like the little downward spiral because I didn't really enjoy season three. Uh, I, I mean, the character, I mean, you're following Sabrina, so, you know what I'm saying, I, I character kind of seemed to, like, uh, regress, digress, you know, either way it goes, it wasn't, she wasn't as lovable in the previous season, so I was hoping that this one would, like, you know, shake it back, you know what I'm saying, go out on a, on a high note, and, and while I will say I do, uh, I did definitely enjoy this season more than, uh, more than the last there were still some issues and certain problems and certain plot holes and certain character decisions that still kind of like, you know, annoy you at times. Uh, this will be a spoiler review. I don't know won't keep you all along, but uh, let's go over a few of the things, a few of the storylines, and uh, yes, I, in order to do that, I'll have to, you know what I'm saying, give some spoilers. So there's your, there's your warning. Uh, probably my biggest, well, the, this this season, first of all, was about the eight Eldritch, Eldritch Terrors, which what existed before time it's always something that exists before something and they have to stop it before the world is sent into a void okay we have we're dealing with heaven hell and like earth okay yet there was a scene where they killed an angel simply broken an angel's neck and that was it. We never heard anything else about that. Like, there was no consequences for that. I was just like, okay, that, that don't make any sense. Not only that, um, the whole storyline with Lucifer's son, that pretty much goes nowhere. Uh, it's just... Started with like Sabrina. We have, of course, we had two Sabrinas, one in heaven. I mean, one in one on earth and one in hell, ruling and everything. And, and I felt like that was cool. You know, you had the Sabrina who was still stuck on earth, not really happy because the other Sabrina, well, Sabrina Morningstar, um, was down now like living her best life. You know, finna getting married to Caliban and you know everything. You know, granted he was he was had some fire play at hand, but like yo, she was. She was chilling. Sabrina Spellman, on the other hand, like both of her friends in relationship, and she just kind of felt jealous. And, and she just, her character got so bad to the point where just like she could never just not just leave well enough alone. Uh, you just, she would always have to do something that, like, that would like cause, you know, havoc. And then you have Father Blackwood who, at some point, it was just like, dude, like you're you're just like you, you're howling at the moon, bro. It's like every time, I if he felt like a villain off of Scooby Doo or something, you know, it's like, dude, what are you, what are you even doing, bro? Like, sit, sit down, go 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 somewhere, go on about your business, bro, something. I mean, I think that that kind of bothered me. They recounted the, the 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 relationship between Nick. And Sabrina, Sabrina Spellman, which I was like, she just said she wasn't, she was just about to go find herself, and then that completely goes out the window. I, 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 it just was so inconsistent. It was sloppy. The ending to me made no sense because like Sabrina's, I, I don't know. I guess Sabrina's in the void now, and some kind of way Nick managed to follow her there. I'm, I'm assuming both of them are dead. But I'm pretty sure when they die, they go to hell, right? And why they just didn't do... Like, it... it the Like, Lucifer loses his... Becomes mortal or something? Because... What's his name? Drinks his blood. I, it, it just got to the point where I'm just like, man, y'all, listen. I was following you for a minute. But what is we doing now? Like... Where we where are we going with it? Well, it's not even where we going. It's just like, okay, 
We're going to do this. All right, Brett, Rob, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It just got to that point where you just like, okay, sure. Okay, sure. It just, mm, it didn't end how I wanted it to. Like I say, it was better than the last season, which is not saying a lot because I didn't enjoy that season at all. It, it had something special, like the, the bringing in the uh, 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 Aunt Zelda, well, not Zelda from uh, the Sabrina the Teenage Witch, you know, the, uh, the, the, I guess you call it sitcom, you know, from the 90s. I think that was cool. That was a cool little thing. It's, it's just that whole storyline was like, and then you had a stuffed Salem, which you could actually, I feel like you could actually like have a CGI rig. I don't know, man. It's just, uh, you got hits and misses, man. And Sabrina went out on the miss. Simple as that. Sorry. Simple as that. It went out on the miss. I, I just, mm, maybe it was the Riverdale style love drama stuff. That I that I rock with in the in the first season because it, it was pretty simple, and I feel like they made it too convoluted this season. Uh, so yeah, that's my review. <laughs> that uh, I didn't actually think I would say a lot of bad negative things, but you know once once you get to talk and the truth comes out, you know. So there you have it. Uh, you guys, let me know what you thought about the <coughs> excuse me the final season of uh, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the vid. Hope you guys are staying safe out there and I'll catch up with you guys later.